Ahaba and blessings. Happy Magdalene Monday. My name is Aria. I am an ordained Magdalene priestess, a Reiki master, energy, and a sound healer. And today we are going to go into a beautiful little mantra practice sound activation. Today is a Monday, of course, and it is a day that is aligned with the bait, the Aramaic letter for birthing. And it is the new beginning of the week for most of us, as well as we are into the lunar cycle of Sivan, of Gemini, which began with the new moon in Gemini on Thursday. So this cycle, this the energies of Sivan, of Gemini, follow us for the entire next 28 days. So we are looking at the energies of being mindful of our word, our communication, our sovereignty keeps coming up our communication relationships all of these keep coming up and everything has to do with vibration vibration is is the energy vibration explains the energy that creates worlds because it is the vibration of a word or of a celestial body that emits a frequency a resonance that we attune to in order to that we can choose to attune to in order to create our reality so I am working with the C not the C <laughs> I am working with the G which is throat chakra and I'm working with it at a high at a lower octave which is this large beauty right here. And you can feel how that G sharp is more anchoring. You feel it lower in your body. A G sharp in a higher octave. And we can see how that, we can feel how the higher octave accelerates energy because I'm, I'm looking at the sound waves so in terms of sound I'm going to explain this when a note is lower the the distance between the peaks of those sound waves is longer when it is a higher octave the distance between those peaks are smaller they're shorter and what that means is so if it's shorter it's accelerating at a higher frequency. If it's slower, it is resonating at a slower frequency. So that would be why it's more grounding at a lower octave than at a higher one. And I'm also working with this beautiful G that is, this is seven, eight, seven inches. So at the seven inch, at this octave frequency, it winds up creating balance and harmony. And the reason I'm working with these three different size bowls is because I want us to experience the, the melding of all of these frequencies and understanding that whether we need to ground certain aspects of our communication, accelerate the wisdom that we receive, anchor it in our body, all of it, can work harmoniously at the same time. So we are gonna do a little bit of a mantra practice as we hold a mudra. So the mudra we're gonna hold is the mudra that activates the third eye, our intuition, our inner knowing, because the wisdom, everything that we seek and desire already exists within us. So palms together, we're gonna be pressing our thumbs to our third eye gently, long deep breathing, eyes closed. And the mantra, the sacred word we are going to chant is Shem. Shem is Aramaic for vi vibration. And Shem is, is the frequency we're attempting to attune to. Shem becomes Shemaya. Shemaya is heaven from the Avun de Vishmaya, O heavenly birther, which is the celestial name for the divine. It's the first two words of 
um, Yeshua's prayer, the Lord's prayer in Aramaic. So we are going to be chanting Shem with this mudra. And then we're going to go into Shemaya. And then we're going to go into Avum Vibhishmaya. Shem, Shemaya, Avum Vibhishmaya. So let's get ready. Put your hands in that mudra. I can only hold one because I have to play the bowls. And let's start.
Namashmaya. And this is a practice that you can incorporate into your day to day. You can do it for a few minutes. We did it, um, actually I'm not quite sure how long we did it, but we did it for several minutes. And it allows you to tune into yourself. It allows you to tune into yourself and your higher self, your wisdom. Embody that in your physical body and use that as your baseline as you go through the day. So it would be a beautiful way to begin your day. Have a beautiful day. Ahava. Blessings on this Magdalene Monday. And if you enjoyed this, of course, like, subscribe, share with like-minded folks, with people you think will benefit from this activation, from the sound, from the mantra. And comment below. Let me know where you felt this energy. And as always, have a beautiful and blessed day. I have a...